How fitting was it that the Unity Cup was played in South Africa? Well, that was, um, th that was something very important. Important, I think, from, to me, from a number of points. Firstly, that uh, when the biggest event of the world, the FIFA Soccer World Cup, was playing, which uh, attracts uh, billions of people to look, um, to watch, that it was then made to play in the middle of it, because that exposed this important movement to the world. Uh, I think to me it was more than important. I think more important than the many games that have been played outside of this. <clears throat> we played it, uh, or the match took place um, as a curtain raiser for the main match of the uh, Soccer World Cup, and therefore gave an opportunity to many people to come to know, to see uh, these citizens in action, uh, to get the opportunity to hear that there is a huge movement that has grown over the period uh, that says, let us accept uh, our citizens with different disabilities, with different abilities, to be with us in everything we do, that in fact, it is not as we imagine that they are not able to do things. They are able. The only difference is that they've got different abilities. Um, to me, this has been phenomenal uh, for the movement. What lessons can be taken from the fight against apartheid and applied to, to the battle to get inclusion for people with disabilities? I think the, the movement provides a very huge lesson that uh, we all need to, to stand up and, and then come up and be able to play a role. And with regard to governments in particular, because governments are huge institutions, once governments take this to their own programs, I think it will go a long way. I think that's what you need to do. Uh, f some months ago, I went to a school uh, in Johannesburg of the disabled people. Uh, I had been invited by a young pupil who was there. Uh, what an excitement did I come across. At that time, we're just moving towards the 2010 World Cup. And also to be exposed to the teachers, uh, the children, but as well as the principal when he gave an account of how disadvantaged uh, this community was and how much we need to pay attention, particularly as government. <clears throat> I, I realized that um, government ought to, in their own social programs, have a very dedicated program uh, to deal with the question of people with different uh, abilities. Uh, I, I think this movement helps us to take that education further uh, to other governments. I would imagine um, a challenge really should be put across to governments to actually say each government um, must work on a dedicated program, uh, particularly in keeping with uh, the imperatives in our constitutions that talk about human rights. Uh, they have their rights. Uh, I think we need to promote the struggle uh, to be able to accord them their own rights. And I think governments can do it better. Nobody else can do it better than the governments. How visionary was it of Special Olympics to get this Unity Cup off the ground? I think it was very visionary, absolutely visionary. And I really thought um, uh, uh, FIFA needed to be thanked uh, for having uh, accommodated this important event. Visionary indeed, and I think uh, it was also in keeping 
with uh, FIFA's uh, own programs. They have a program, for an example, Football for Hope, wherein they are conducting a festival wherein the poorest of the poor participate. I think the fact that they were able to accept this, I think it is their own kind of understanding and vision. And I think soccer being the bigger kind of sport is an important instrument, really, uh, to bring this to the society. Uh, so I, I think it's, it's, it, it was very visionary. In your lifetime, to what extent have you seen the world becoming a kind of place? I think it should be a kind of place that recognizes, that accepts uh, people with disabilities. Um, that is why I feel almost if all of us could join this huge movement, it would be a good thing. And that's why I participated myself uh, as a head of state in a game to promote it. Because I think just to, to, to note, uh, to acknowledge, it's not enough. I think we need to participate. And that's why I was with them. I played with them. It was absolutely wonderful. Um, I think many of us should do so. We should actually participate in, in, in ensuring that we promote the, the, the rights of people with disabilities. How stand out were the talents of those Special Olympic athletes too? I actually was surprised and shocked because when first I, I was supposed to go in, well, I thought, well, I would be just moving around. I was surprised the speed with which they move the dribbling, the skill, the display of the skill. I mean, we, we, in no time, <clears throat> my age was exposed, that I'm no longer young, because they were just running and swiftly moving away, dribbling. Uh, it actually became very clear to me that the talent is there, and the talent is sufficient uh, for entertainment, absolutely. Uh, and the talent is there to help uh, promote them and make them recognised. So they made the point quite clearly, didn't they? They made the point quite clearly, absolutely. And they're very friendly. When you play, they recognise you. Uh, you are able to shake hands and absolutely wonderful. Now I saw you've got a soccer pitch down there. You were practising, weren't you? Yes, yes. I, I said from, from, from the match, I'm no longer going to stop practising. Absolutely.